So when it comes to wintertime Texas rigging, that would be probably the other time of the year that I don't know that Texas rigging would be my number one go-to choice. But there's definitely those opportunities to catch fish in the winter on a Texas rig. Number one would be if you have lakes that have discharges hot water discharges. I mean, you can treat those situations just about like a springtime period of the year because a lot of the fish in the winter are gonna migrate to those warmer water discharges. So then you can get away with throwing, you know, the same baits that we've talked about uh, throughout different series of uh, fishing a Texas rig throughout the course of the year. But one of the first things, when you're fishing just a standard, you know, Midwestern style lake or any lake in the country in the wintertime where you can actually fish in the wintertime, there's not ice on the water, my number one go-to is probably gonna be some kind of a Texas rigged shad style bait. I've got a little bitty uh, 3.75 jointed jerk minnow, big bite jerk minnow. I like to rig that Texas rig because a lot of times I'm gonna be vertically fishing this in the tops of cedar trees, in the tops of standing timber, over the tops of brush piles, things like that is gonna be where I'm gonna be fishing this bait. So I still wanna be using a Texas rig when I'm in those situations. I'm generally gonna be throwing, you know, on my drop shots, I'm gonna be throwing eight to 12 pound main line will be sunline braid. And then I'm generally always going to tie an FG knot to a fluorocarbon sniper leader. And that's generally going to range anywhere from 6 to 10 pound test depending on what kind of cover and, and what size fish I'm catching. I'm generally always going to throw a uh, like a four power, seven foot medium action falcon spinning rod with a Johnny Morris Signature Series spinning reel. Another bait that I Texas rig a lot in the winter at home and, and on various lakes is the uh, Gamakatsu uh, hybrid swing head with a big bite college craw. I think one thing about winter time, just as I talked about with the big bite jointed jerk minnow, you don't want a bait that has a lot of action in the winter time. I mean, everything in the water system, the water column is cold. It's not moving quickly. So, you know, a bait that doesn't have a lot of floppy appendages, in my opinion, works a lot better in the winter time when you're fishing those colder water situations. And that's why I really do like a bait like the Big Bite College Crawl. Any of the Big Bite scented sensation plastics are also going to be something that I, I lean to in the winter time just due to that heavily, heavily scented formulation. So, you know, whether it's a uh, a uh, quarantine craw that I might put on my uh, hybrid swing head or it's a, a skinny minnow or a cliffhanger sensation worm. Those worms are going to give you more opportunities I feel like in the winter just because of that he heavy scented plastic that it comes with. You're going to draw more strikes from those fish that are a lot more lethargic that time of the year. So be sure and check out all these different methods when it comes to wintertime Texas rig fishing.